In this video, we're going to get started on the front grille. Alright, so I'll just talk you through some of the pieces I've got here. So, this actual grille I'm assuming is original. It's like, not fantastic condition, but still good enough. I um, try to remove some of the, the scrapes and dents in there. Got it uh, reasonably okay. Um, this actual moustache piece they call that that actual piece is a reproduction part so I bought that online from one of the mini part sellers in Australia um, the issue with this car is that this uh, front panel is a reproduction panel as well and I'll just point out a few things that there are some some holes along here and those positions would fit the um, like the Rover Mini style grill on it. I'm sure that's what the holes are there for. Uh, but what I actually need to do is fit this Mark 1 grill on there. And it's not a major issue, but the issue more to do with is, um, well the issue really is to do with um, trying to do things correctly and how they're meant to be. But the problem is that obviously this isn't an original panel. So things aren't going to work out the same. So I'm assuming on the original panel you'd use spacer washers to um, attach it there. And then it just uses, from what I know, it uses um, self-tapping screws, just a screw into the metal. And the confusing part is, and I try to get a bit of advice from one of the, the Facebook groups, but... Um, and looking at pictures on the internet, I'm assuming that, from what I can see, it seems like these four screw holes which are on the actual um, moustache, they screw into the car, but then also these top screws here on the actual grill will screw into those as well. And then these screws here, these will be behind this panel, so that'll sort of sit like that. And then on this panel, there are three screw holes there. Now, of course, none of these screw holes line up with the actual car. And the way I need to do it is using some sort of spacers. Now, I bought these from like a hardware store. And there's different size um, couplings in here. So I'm thinking that might be a better way to go. And it's going to be more of the case of me just experimenting, see how they fit. Because on this actual... Um, panel the top two screws or the, to the top screws will sort of be sort of in this section here and then there's going to be a bit of a gap and obviously they don't want to pack that out with washers and even the normal spacer washers which are sold by the mini parts suppliers for the mark one grill um, it's they're not going to be big enough so those um couplings which i bought even these i might need to um, cut them down to size but that will get it working, I think. Um, so I'll do a test fit, I'll tape it on, then you can sort of see what it looks like. Okay, so what I've done, I've um, just put some painting masking tape on the actual panel to protect that and then just taped it up where it should be. I've got it actually slightly off center. And the reason why, and it's it's to do with these the height here. So in the in the center, you want this mustache to sort of be level with the actual panel. Um, and then it tends to taper off a bit, so you'll see a bit of the panel exposed here. And then that side, it needs to be the same height. So maybe that needs to come up a little bit more. Um, I, I need to do some more final adjustments before I start drilling anything. But I've got it slightly set off center because that seemed to help a bit because it just didn't line up. And I'm sort of looking at the gaps between the indicator and the moustache, trying to get that right. 
Um, now the actual, I'll just bring you under here a bit. So this, I don't know how well you can see there for the lights, but there's the edge of the panel here. Here's the moustache, and if I, if that was to tighten in there, uh, I don't know how well you can see that gap, but the gap between the panel and the moustache, it is very small. So the, the spaces that they actually sell on the mini parts, so, um, that, that would actually fit in there okay. And I possibly could just use a couple of washers for now, because that'll do the trick. So that's what, they'll tighten that. Um, and then down this end here, you could, again, the, the gap isn't that big. So the spaces that I bought, those little, um, the, um, the couplings I bought, they might be too big anyway. So that, you could probably easily use a self-tapping screw through that, hold it onto the panel, and some washers in between. So that's for that bit. Um, and then, of course, the next challenge is to figure out how the actual grill will go in. But with the grill, it might be useful to use the, um, the those couplings because you've got to have holes drilled into that to support it. Okay. drilled those two holes and I've got um, self-tapping screws in here that's holding onto the panel and over here too I haven't actually put any washers in between I don't know whether it needs it or not but I can always add spaces at a later time um, this bit here is just slightly above the panel but it's, it's not even noticeable uh, this side here is even so you can see this little there's a little screw hole there to fit the Rover grill and like over the other side here, it's sort of showing too, but that's fine. Um, one thing I noticed is that these edge bits curve sort of nicely into where the panels go. This sort of edge here is sort of nice and flush with there. So that piece just needs to screw in there. And now, again, there is a bit of a space. Um, and then on this side too, that needs to screw in there. And I don't want to force it too much. So this is where you probably will need to put spaces because if that screw is flush against here, where the um, the whisker goes on, that's going to lift that up too high. So that needs to sort of be like that, screw down like that with a spacer because um, otherwise the whisker will not sit flat how it should. So if you saw in the, the um, high speed video, I've got there's one screw under here and just one screw under here. That's all that's holding it on at the moment. Obviously these two top ones I can't actually use because I can't get this up high enough because of the edge on here. It just doesn't all fit nicely. But so there is a gap. Obviously you do need a gap to reach the um, release mechanism for the hood or the bonnet. Uh, the other factor is that this may not even be the correct grill, but yeah, I don't know. So that's how it looks. And if you sort of go straight level with it, there is a bit of a gap, which is a bit bigger than normal. Um, here's a few reference images off the internet. So this one, you can actually see the, um, 
the screw holes. So they've screwed it in. It actually looks like it's just been riveted. So that's um, how it should be if the moustache was original. And even again, it looks... These screws at the side, looks as if they're even riveted. I don't know why they would have riveted. Uh, here's another example. This one, they've screwed it, but I don't know, because these this all may be original, and that's why it fits so much better. So there's those two screws at the top. And on this one, I can't tell, but oh yeah, it looks like they've just used those main screws again. So the, the next thing I need to um, sort out are the whiskers. Uh, the whiskers, they're actually sided. So that's for the right hand side. Uh, let me just grab the left hand side. This one's for the left. And the way that these, they all sort of sit like that. It seems like I might have to either slightly bend that bit in a bit or trim down that. Probably bending it would be the easier way. But that's pretty straightforward. It sort of just sits in there like that. And the way it gets held on, uh, these are the clips that you need to use. So they will get fixed in there. I'm not exactly sure, maybe one here and one there, but I'll have a bit of a play. And those clips, I'll just show you how they sit, sit together. Uh, once, once that is actually either screw, probably riveted to the actual body, uh, then they sort of just, or well, you slide the whiskers on, uh, kind of like that, so you can see how it slides in. Uh, the other thing too I, I saw on the internet is that when people fix these to the body, you want to put a washer behind it, just so it sits away from the body a bit, so you can actually slide it on otherwise it would be a bit too tight to slide on. So if you slide that there, you can see that. Oh, just get the angle right, here we go. Obviously you can see that there's a bit of a um, height. It, you need a bit of clearance, so a, a washer before you pop rivet it on would be the way to go. So that's one side on there nicely. So one clamp is about here, the other one sort of there. I had to sort of bend these a bit just to get that whisker to sit neatly on top of this um, piece here. Um, but that looks okay. I'm pretty happy with that. And that doesn't sit, really hang out too much. But if that catches something, it, there's a chance that it can bend and whatever. But So that's that side done. There's not really much to it. But one thing I want to explain is how I'm actually doing the pop rivets. So there's the standard um, the clip that holds it on. So the way I've done it, the rivet goes through here and I'm using a very small washer and the ones I found, there's, I had to rummage around to try and find some decent ones, but little tiny washers like that are fine. So a little small washer, that has to go between this piece and the actual panel because you need to have a bit of a distance, otherwise you're not going to be able to slide those whiskers on. The other thing too, using the pop rivet gun, I needed to put... Um, well, if you've ever used pop rivets, you'll understand the issue, because the head of that rivet um, won't sit flat with the pop rivet gun, so um, you would have noticed me put some little tiny uh, nuts onto this actual piece here before I get the pop rivet gun to pull on it because yeah because of the height you need that rivet pushed in nicely like that and there's just not enough um, you know, there's a bit it's a, it'll be loose if the gun if you don't have those nuts on there
so that's the <laughs> other side done as well. This one went on nicely. It was light. I lined it, that up perfectly. Um, you, it is. It's. It's not. I wouldn't say it's loose, but someone could come along and oh, pick that off and pull it off. But it's. Um, you might want to put like a blob of silicone, or I don't know, possibly glue it, just to make sure it. It's, I don't think it's going to rattle and fall off, but. Um, if something catches it, it might pull off, but that'll do for now, and I'll leave it there. At least you've um, had an overview of how um, to fix up these grills and uh, attach them. Um, so the other thing, I'm going to order a um, the quick release kit because at the moment it's just a couple of screws each side holding that on. I may need to add the other holes, but I'll wait until I get the quick release kit for that. So we'll just sort of move back a bit and have a look at how that looks. It's not too bad they're nice and level looks okay i'm happy with that so i'll leave it there and thanks for watching my videos